Hey, this is Rena Hicks and you are watching Moneywise. We are discussing love and money and today I'm just going straight into it. I was at a bridal shower. It was my friend getting married and there was an auntie who was there and she said, "Let me tell you. If you have to have a joint account, you must have it such that you must both sign to get money out. Do not be foolish." She was talking very seriously, eh? <laughs> Can you not make sure that you must make sure that you both have to sign and nobody can take out money without the other's knowledge. So this joint account thing. Mm -hmm. Do we do it? Do we not? Is it a good idea? Is it not? You know, I've had all kinds of ideas around mm. you know, having our money come together. What's your view? Well, I uh, just in response to what you have shared. Let me say that the person sharing, I in my opinion had gone through trust issues violation of trust where through that joint account maybe money was withdrawn without consent and that brought in the kind of um response that we get there joint account or no joint account is very personal you know you bring two people together who have come from a very different background on how money was spent and what we really bring in is our experiences on money and i'm just reminded uh, of my own parents and my father was a bank manager my mother was a teacher and and my my father being a banker had access to my mother's account and one day my father withdrew my mom's money i mean it was fireworks that day at home how my mother has father will do the money of my mother without consent would she believe even in banking money where the husband knows forget <laughs> joint account yeah. where it is known that he will come and influence for the money to be withdrawn now i believe that when a man and a woman come together they come together for a common goal a common purpose and money is just a currency that facilitates for where they really want to go their vision uh, in life yeah. and and to be a part of that so how they choose to do it is absolutely up to them why do you have a joint account you have a joint account so that you can be able to pay bills together mm. uh, and that's bills you know um because what you can say is that this is what i'm earning um we put aside money for utilities in this account so that we issue out checks and pay off because sometimes when you're in a marriage somebody says i've had this very often I pay all the bills. Me, I pay the maid, I buy the food, I I pay the bills. My husband, him, he just does the big investments. He for his money, it's only about investing and buying property. And guess what? Everything is in his name. I have nothing to do with it. So, okay. Um is that okay? I'm I am not sure. For them it works. For me, No Absolutely way. no 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 no. Mm -hmm. I've invested in my marriage 10 years. If it has to come to an end, God forbid, what do you walk away with? Or who are you in that marriage? I think these are the questions that one needs to answer as you're looking. Whether to have a joint account or no joint account is a no brainer. Because you need to know first and foremost what's the objective why do you want to have a joint account we want a joint account so that we can save okay save let us do saving you bring your money i bring my money we save but it's not always that way what happens rena is that in that joint account sometimes there is one partner who is the one who always saves at one point they start becoming resentful yeah. i'm the one who has always been saving yeah. i'm the one that is saving this money so why is it a joint account mm. i do the saving somebody else Spends. does the spending so i don't need a savings account now you need to know your partner know your partner know your partner that's the bottom line mm. when i choose to save with you i need to know that you have some good uh, financial standing that indeed your money habits are good that you are not going to pull a fast one on me 
Because I'll be waking up every day and wondering, did he withdraw the money? Did she withdraw the money? Because you have access to these accounts. And so when you are beginning a relationship, I can tell you this for a fact, there's a lot of suspicion as you begin. Today, your father can give me everything. Take this money, save. Take this money, do. He can because he knows I'm not going anywhere. But as a young bride, he couldn't. He needed to see whether I'm accountable, I am responsible, and I, I, I am faithful to the marriage, and that my, my, my faithfulness is also goes beyond, um, it's beyond reproach. Mm. Unless you prove yourself as true to the relationship, saving together, having joint accounts and walking a financial journey with somebody is out of the question absolutely because finances are people's uh, security mm. i'm secure i know my bank account is how it is if you have access there you might destroy me who are you if you are not accountable responsible for the little that i give you how do i involve you in the big when you are not contributing to the family kitty, why would I include you? People do. It's a pulse about a personality and where people are coming from. I'll tell you this. A young woman who could never have a relationship, um, a money relationship um, with the husband, finally after exploration said, you know, as a young woman, we suffered so much. We had no money. We went to school without the basic utilities just to discover that the girl who was my friend was actually a child of my father out of wedlock. She lived large. She always got the blue bands. She always got th things sent to her. And I had the bare minimum. Let me tell you, I am a hoarder and I cannot allow anybody, including my husband, to be a part of the journey of my my financial work. It's all about your upbringing, who you are and how you grew up. But let me tell you, you cannot be a prisoner of the past. You got to learn. And Rina is putting together something that is going to be an experience. And that's all I would say. Mm -hmm. Life is about learning. Every single day we are learning. Can I say that how we spend money today or how we save money is what we did when we were married for one year, five years, ten years. No, absolutely not. This is a journey of growth. Don't expect too much too soon. Mm. Mm. Great. If you enjoyed this um, video and you want to hear more, you have more questions because I have so many, we are not even going to be able to tackle all of them. So we've actually decided to put together an event and it's going to be a beautiful event, an evening of love and money where we'll have conversations around this subject. We'll have opportunities to ask questions and to hear from other couples who've gone through challenging situations and recovered from them and are now thriving in their relationships. So it, I would really encourage you to sign up. If you are interested in coming to join us on the 16th of November, send me an email um, or call or WhatsApp. Um, you can send me an email on sema at moneywise.co.ke or send a WhatsApp message to 0707 633 433 and I will give you more details. We'll have posters out in a short while where you will be able to um, um, know what the details are but I would really encourage you to, to sign up we have very few slots available so kindly do ahead uh, go ahead and do that as soon as you can this is Rina you've been watching money wise and please subscribe share the video so that others get to hear this amazing information take care